how amazing does this look? It looks freaking amazing. This is core, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you a little bit more about this front end for your PC, but it looks amazing. I've seen a lot of front ends, and this one is nice, and it runs great because you're running on a PC, so really nice hardware. But what this is, is a core. You've seen me do uh, videos on coin ops. All this stuff runs off of Retro FE, which doesn't use Rocket Launcher. A lot of this is drag and drop. And honestly, it's beginning to be some of my favorite ways of emulating on a PC, especially as far as the experience goes. So this is kind of, this is an add-on that you can add on to Retro FE, drag and drop, and build the ultimate emulation machine. So in this video, I'll show you how I set it up and we'll have a deeper look. So as far as what I did was I downloaded Core. I went ahead and unrarred it. That's what I have here. I went ahead and downloaded Update 1 and Update 2. And these are just going to update the themes and the functionality. I highly recommend and they recommend it to me as well to update, do these two updates. And then as far as getting some actual ROMs on there, getting some games on there, I downloaded the Nintendo Systems Top 25 Pack and the Nintendo 64 pack. Um, the Nintendo's 25 pack comes with this little readme file. When you open it, I actually, it said that it comes with the Nintendo 64 and the readme, but if you actually look inside the file system, see it says it comes with the top Nintendo 64 games as well as Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, and Game Boy Color. Um, and so it actually doesn't have it in there though. I'll even show you, like when you open it, 7-zip, open, and you go to the collections, there's no Nintendo 64, which is fine because I, I actually had already downloaded the um, Nintendo 64 version, which gives you the top 24 um, Nintendo 64 in there. So that's all I did was I got these files, I extracted them all into their own folders, and then, um, so we got our core there. I went ahead and got the update, it's empty now, but I just copied everything in this file folder, pasted it into core. I then copied everything in the core two, pasted it into the core. You'll notice there's a core cleanup and a core cleanup two for the core one and the core two. I went ahead and ran this one first and then I ran the update two. I might've been able to skip this, but I just went in order. And um, then here's our main application here. And now you, now, and then at this point, it would just give you core with no ROMs. You know, you can kind of use the, the the system, but there's no games on there. You'd have to, you still have to add the games. The emulators are there, but and the and the theme is there, but no actual games. So that's when you have to go ahead and get the Nintendo 60, you know, the Nintendo tops. Go ahead and copy everything in it and paste it into cores. And then same thing with the Nintendo 64. Copy everything in it and paste it into core. It's that simple. It always goes in the root directory of core. Don't put it in collections and start getting into the, the subdirectories. Put it, drop it in the main directory, replace the files. It's that simple. So here are your defaults. Quit is Q on the keyboard, back, select, random, in case you're wondering about what um, you know controls are random. You can select a random game we can go ahead and launch core. So here we are in core, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you off some of these themes. This is really the coolest part, in my opinion. Um, it, well, it runs really great, you know, don't get me wrong, it's really smooth, but this one has a horizontal uh, menu, and pretty nice, Atlas. That's kind of the, a lot of people like Atlas. This next one, Carousel, it has kind of more of a hyperspin type. You can see it has a vertical wheel there, and uh, you know, we're just watching a preview of it. It does take up the whole screen if I was to select this theme. And we're gonna be doing that later in the video. We'll actually play with these. But I'm actually gonna play with this theme quite a bit, the Luna theme. I like it very much. Another uh, horizontal uh, wheel as far as going between your consoles and categories. Pandora's Box, not a huge fan, but again, you know, I like purpose-built things and some of you out there really like Pandora's Box. So it's a cool way to replicate Pandora's Box, but you're playing on a computer, so you can play a lot more games than you could with just the Pandora's box and the limitations of that hardware. Another Pandora's box, this one, a less, less verbiage, more photos, more interactive, really big systems right across the middle of your screen. So that one's kind of cool, I like it. And uh, remember, you know, there's just so many categories um, in this. They really, like, it can handle, it even have a button for the Nintendo Switch. 
it goes to Xbox, Xbox 360, PSP, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, uh, all the Nintendo consoles. Like, it has everything. Here's another theme, Raw, another uh, vertical wheel, and then we're back at Atlas. So, this thing runs really good. It's clean, it's simple, there's no rocket launcher. Um, let's try some more stuff out, though. So there you have it. This is some of the themes they have, and it's beautiful. I am in love, and I love that Top 25 Nintendo pack. And as you see here, you can also add arcade games, uh, computer-based games, all kinds of things to this front end. It's actually very comprehensive. That's something I really like about it, is the choice of things, themes and the comprehensiveness of it. Now, um, it still, to me, needs some work. Like they're still expanding on it, adding themes. I noticed some of like the video snaps um, were a little different. Like it, it didn't seem necessarily um, everything was polished out. But as far as I'm concerned, I would totally rock it as is now. There's that little clock feature up there. There's some really nice hotkeys. And if you didn't pick it up earlier, I mentioned that with this whole front end, there's no rocket launcher. So it's super newbie friendly. You don't need to know a lot about changing your settings, controller setups, 
emulator setups a lot of it is set up for you now you can absolutely get into retro arc and a lot of these emulators by hitting your analog sticks on your controller or tab or usually it's one of the f keys uh, to get into that and so you can change all that stuff like shaders and controls and resolution and bezels so all that stuff is totally still customizable but with this core front end you get this beautiful experience i mean i can tell you right now that if i invite some people over and show them this be like wow that you know that's that's really nice and so from the aesthetics department 10 out of 10 really really nice so that's what i think i'm digging it i'm going to check out some more packs for this particular build and um you know see what else we can get what kind of trouble we can get into but that's what i think i'm like i said if you haven't heard from me already this is really really well done um, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.